yes. That's the English name, cassava. Check out this market outside of Livingston, Zambia, where the indigenous people shop for their everyday supplies. Our guide Peter showed us all sections of this vast market. Produce, meat, dried goods, linens, you name it, they had it. You could get your bicycle repaired, or perhaps buy a new horn. The prices are marked. All the prices are marked in kwacha. If it's two kwacha like that, that's as good as 20 cents. It's our eggplant that we have in Zambia. We call it impa. Impa. That's eggplant. eggplant. Your common eggplant is that one over there. That's your common eggplant. This is the small section. These are very high in protein. And we eat, we eat them basically throughout Southern Africa. I'll wait for the chicken salad. Actually, Mopani worms are not worms at all, but the larvae of butterflies. I spoke with a Mopani worm lady who was delighted that I thought her child was beautiful and posed for a photo. Bungie. Truly, you can buy anything here. Fried fish. Bungie. After that, you add cooking oil, salt, tomato, and onion for the soup. Are these That's how you cook dried? them. Are they are all sun dried. All sun -dried. Why? <laughs> Not everyone owns a refrigerator and they are perishable. Yeah. Yes. So that's as good as 50 cents. 50 cents? Yes, that's 50 cents per <laughs> pile. So fast forward two weeks and we are back in Zimbabwe. So remember when we were at the African market, we saw the Mopani worms? Here they are. Delicious. I recommend them highly. Oh, those pesky baboons. It's almost impossible to keep them out of the restaurants.